Hi everyone, Emily here from Team Retro. Today we're going to take a look at the FV43U from Aorus. This is one of their brand new 144Hz 4K monitors that comes packed with a ton of features like 1 millisecond response time and HDR1000. The tactical gaming display is focused towards gamers, but in this review, I'm not only going to show how it performs while gaming, but share movies, our audio test, and the KVM feature. So let's delve into unboxing the FV43U. In the top section of the box, you'll find that it comes with power, a HDMI 2.1, a USB and mini display cables, plus the pair of legs and remote. The bottom half allows you to open and slide the monitor out, so you'll be able to do this on your own. The setup is super easy. The legs slot into place and screw in. This took a couple of minutes to do so, so just have a screwdriver handy. In our games room, we opted to set this screen up front and center, ready to test all next-gen consoles and PC using the Aorus 15P. Aorus are known for their sleek and unique gaming style across all of their products. The 43U has a striking back panel, which includes their logo and has a combination of matte and gloss finishes. This monitor also looks like the latest gen TVs, with its relatively thin bezel, plus it weighs in at 10 kilos and has a thickness under 88 millimeters. The 43U comes with a stand, but you do have the ability to wall mount it. Now on the back sides of the FV43U, there are a number of ports. On the right side, you'll find line in, audio out jack, two HDMI 2.1 ports, a display port, which is 1.4, USB-C port, USB upstream port, and two USB 3 ports. On the left side is where you'll find the AC in. There's two ways to control this display, one of which is by the remote control, or via the toggle positioned on the bottom center of the bezel. I think the remote is a great addition and all monitors should come with one. It really made it quick and easy to run through the menu. In the settings menu, there are four main sections, which are gaming, picture, display, and picture in picture. There will be more of these sections further in the video. Also under the control panel, you can access the dashboard and game assist settings. Game assist allows you to view a gaming timer, counter, refresh rate, and screen info. There is also the ability to add crosshair and display alignment, perfect for competitive gameplay. And with a click of a button, you can also change the picture mode to your preferred choice, volume up or down, and change the input. The Aorus 43 FVU comes with a QLED VA panel. Now, some of you may not like this type of panel, but I have to say out of all of the hours testing this gaming, uh, watching movies, every single test we put it through, this screen performs exceptionally well. The size of the panel is a 43 inch with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. The panel type is a QLED VA, which comes with a peak brightness level of 1000 nits. And trust me when I say this thing is bright. The FV43U has a 170 degree wide viewing angle and a 4000 to 1 contrast ratio. Sitting and viewing this panel from the sides, front and further back in our room looked fantastic. This model has a 1 millisecond response time and boasts a 144Hz refresh rate via the DisplayPort 1.4. Plus, this monitor offers next-gen gamers the capability of running the PS5 and Xbox Series consoles at 120Hz via both of the HDMI 2.1 ports. Honestly, this display is a machine. The FV43U comes with FreeSync, but it also works with G-Sync, so games will run super, super smoothly. The panel is 8-bit with FRC, but when using HDR, it will switch to 10-bit mode. The screen supports 97% of DCI-P3 color space, 150% of the sRGB color space, plus 99% of the Adobe RGB color space. So what does that mean for the FV43U? With such a huge color space, this means that you will see a richer variety of colors and accuracy. The FV43U comes with a number of different display settings, but out of the box, we have to say that the default settings are near perfect. It's worth noting as well that if you wish to create custom settings altered to your personal preference, up to three can be saved. In this test, I loaded up Cold War on the PlayStation 5. I turned off HDR in the PS5 menu and then went through the SDR picture mode options. There is standard, VS mode, FPS, RTS RPG, movie, reader, sRGB, and then the custom slots. Although the picture looked great in standard mode, when it switched to HDR, 
is when it really came alive. The HDR picture mode options are HDR 1000, HDR HLG, HDR game, and HDR movie. Personally, the HDR 1000 setting looks fantastic. Our experience was of true and accurate colors being displayed with minimal backlight bleed. During the two weeks we've had the FE43U on loan, we wanted to take full advantage of the HDMI 2.1 capability. So we've tested the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, plus PC gaming on the Aorus 15P. The first example I wanted to share is the PlayStation 5 running Cold War at 120 frames. Note that the in-game settings for this title need to be changed. My experience playing this at 120 frames, HDR 4K was second to none and I felt the response time did improve my gameplay performance. On the Series X, I tested Dirt 5 which can run at 120 hertz and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Dirt 5 not only looked amazing, but ran exceptionally well. The reason why I chose Assassin's Creed Valhalla was because this game has quite dark areas and I didn't have any issues with the backlight bleed. I would even go to say it was so minimal or nil whilst playing through the game. On the Series S, I loaded into Fortnite. What I found interesting was that the in-game menu setting allowed for you to add the frame rate to the screen. I actually think that's a great touch. Overall, the gameplay was responsive and there was no input lag. Then we set up the Aorus 15P and tested Doom Eternal. I have to say that the game was incredible to play on the 43 inch panel with its quantum dot technology. As this game is fast paced, the refresh rate of one milliseconds ensures gameplay remains smooth. Plus I didn't notice any screen tearing or ghosting. Now for all testing across each game, we did prefer the HDR 1000 mode. This calibration out of the box for this panel really did impress us. Overall, the best color accuracy and contrast was this setting across a number of games tested. This is one display that offers it all with a variable refresh rate, ability to use both HDR and SDR, and have such a huge color space range. All of our game testing was a positive experience and I felt immersed in each game session. Another handy feature of the FE43U is its inbuilt KVM switching capability. This allows you to connect two computers to the display along with a keyboard and mouse and switch between the two seamlessly. Simply connect each computer to your display. Plug your keyboard and mouse into the USB 3 ports, then use the USB type B and C ports to connect to each computer. From here, go to the KVM setup in the display menu to assign your device inputs. The Aorus monitor does not come with any apps built in, but it doesn't really need to. If you're going to hook up your PC or console, you'll be able to install those applications. And that way you can use this not only for gaming, but all your movie and TV needs. In our testing, we streamed from Disney Plus, plus tested the 4K Ultra HD to see how the monitor performed. During our test, it was quite clear that cycling through the HDR and audio settings, that the default HDR and movie audio was best suited for watching a movie. When streaming, the quality wasn't as good, but that can be expected. However, when we played the same movie on Ultra HD, it was phenomenal. The image is sharp and the audio quality is darn impressive for out of the box. Should you use this in a small room as both your gaming and TV setup, I think you'll be very impressed. We sure are. Play fire! But Sire, our troops just do it! Over the last two weeks testing this display, most of the gameplay audio was run through the two 12 watt speakers. And trust me when I say this thing is loud. So now we're going to do an audio test just to show you how clear this monitor really is.
The FV43U is retailing at $16.99 AUD and we have to say it is worth it. This monitor is going to be future-proofing your setup with all of the specs it offers and the quality of the colors in the panel. Plus, at the time of filming this video, there is a current promotion for Aussies, so there's going to be a link in the description of this video. The Aorus FV43U is not just a gaming monitor. It suits everybody wishing to get the most out of their display and watch 4K movies. I feel that after weeks of gaming on this monitor, it was smooth, clear, bright, and the response time definitely enhanced my experience. The backlight bleed is minimal, and it is one of the best panels I've tested. The screen also offers some handy features such as the built-in KVM switch allowing you to use it for a single monitor dual PC setup. The Adobe 99% color accuracy also makes this a fantastic monitor for creatives. This display really, and I mean really, can do it all. My experience playing multiple games for a number of hours, editing a video and watching movies was a positive one. This screen does have a higher price tag, but it will future-proof your setup and suits a number of uses. If you're in the market for an upgrade or looking to take advantage of next-gen gaming on those new consoles, then definitely take a look at the FV43U from Aorus. Thanks for watching.